EKIP is an aerodynamic ground effect craft, whose build was based on a number of different engineering ideas. Although, the project hasn't yet been implemented, it has many advantages such the ability to successfully overcome long distances and the power to have a bigger load aboard. The ship has enlarged central part, thus a lot of space inside. It does not need runways due to its ability to take off from literally any 500 meters long, even surface. This includes water, ice, and soil. When the vehicle lands, the nozzle works in the opposite direction from the takeoff. This flying saucer is a prototype of a hovercraft designed by Paul Mahler. This craft can hover 10 feet into the air. The name Volander means a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. For the last 40 years, the inventor was trying to get this craft into the mass market, but without any success. On the other hand, the Skikhar's promotional materials from 1997 had predicted around 100,000 units sold by 2002. The Mahler International has often promised many things, but rarely were they fulfilled. It is leaving us skeptical about their plans on the future of their hovercraft. It was the American version of the aircraft Y-2, created in Ontario, Canada. This project was an experimental saucer-shaped aircraft, built in the 1950s. The project was led by Dr. Richard Metha. First, he was hired by the Germans. The U.S. government recruited a couple of German scientists with him. The saucers were primarily designed to go 2,300 miles per hour and at an altitude of 80,000 feet. Over 40 year, the America's number one flying saucer project was a top secret. The wooden mock-up of a Project Y was completed by 1953. The story was told to the Toronto Star, providing them also with the images of the design. Apparently, it was a tactic to get more funding. Five days afterwards, the Minister for Defence Production stated to the House of Commons the information that Avro was working on a mock-up model of a flying saucer, and that it is capable of climbing vertically and flying 1,500 miles per hour, but the project did not get the needed funding. The VZ-9 Aircraft it was a part of the secret U.S. military project which was carried out in the Cold War's early years. Originally, it was designed more as a fighter-like aircraft which was supposed to be capable of very high speeds and altitudes. The problem was that the project was often scaled back over time, so the U.S. Air Force abandoned it. However, the development was taken into the hands of the U.S. Army which used it for a tactical combat aircraft requirement.